Hey guys, welcome to the channel. A hydraulic system, however big it may be, works by moving the working fluid through the components. But apart from power transmission, a hydraulic fluid additionally helps in dissipating the heat from components, thus cooling the system. The heat generated is due to the working of various components. To ensure smooth functioning, the moving components of the system should be lubricated as well. Thus, hydraulic fluid has various functions in a hydraulic power system. The selection of hydraulic fluid is dependent on the requirements of the power system. Nonetheless, the hydraulic fluid must possess some properties to be used in a hydraulic power system. Let's discuss some of these properties. First of all, the hydraulic fluid must have good lubricity. This is because if the surfaces of various components come in contact, then it may cause wear and damage to the system. Thus, a hydraulic fluid having good lubricity separates and lubricates the components effectively. Now, as the hydraulic system performs work, the temperature of the system rises, which affects the viscosity of the hydraulic fluid. On increasing the temperature, the viscosity of the liquid decreases and vice versa. This change in viscosity due to temperature is measured by the viscosity index of the fluid. A hydraulic fluid with a low viscosity index will have a large change in viscosity with the corresponding change in temperature. On the other hand, a fluid with high viscosity index will have a small change in viscosity. The next property is the overall stability of the hydraulic fluids. Now, what is this stability? In a hydraulic system, the fluid is subjected to various conditions like large pressure and temperature variations, turbulence and contamination of particulates. Thus, a hydraulic fluid should be stable chemically as well as physically to ensure usage for long time periods. Moreover, the compatibility of the hydraulic fluid with the system is a must. Otherwise, the hydraulic fluid may damage the parts by reacting with them, thus losing its functional efficiency. As we have seen in our previous videos on fluid power, most liquids like oil or water are considered incompressible. Although, in practice, all materials are compressible to a certain extent. The bulk modulus of a liquid is the measure of compression with an increase in pressure. A material with high bulk modulus will undergo lesser compression as compared to a material with low bulk modulus. Therefore, the hydraulic fluid must have high bulk modulus for proper working. Another property desired in a hydraulic fluid is fire resistance. Since most of the hydraulic oils used are petroleum derivatives, care should be taken while operating them. Otherwise, the fluid might ignite at high temperatures. To overcome this, synthetic hydraulic fluids having high fire resistance are used. When you mix liquids and gases, you might have seen the formation of foam. Liquids can absorb nearby gases and foam, which is just gas trapped in the liquid. If the hydraulic fluid has the tendency of forming foam, then it can cause leakage of hydraulic fluid and damage the system. Thus, hydraulic fluids having low foaming tendency are preferred in hydraulic systems. Well, apart from all the properties we've seen, hydraulic fluids should also be able to prevent rust formation in the system and dissipate heat effectively. Although, no hydraulic fluid can possess all the properties. Hence, the best possible hydraulic fluid is used which fulfills most of the requirements of the system. Well, that's all for the properties of hydraulic fluids. 